Hey guys, Sam from 3D here. In this video, I will show you how you can append multiple objects into one scene. It's super handy because you can have multiple characters, for example, female and male. Then you can have animals or maybe pets together with characters. Also, I will show you how you can append different material. So you can have, for example, gold sleeves uh, or legs or some accessories and so on. So it's super easy to do and super fun to play with because it will open you another door into 3D. And thanks to that, you can squeeze the libraries even more. So let's get to it. First thing, which is the most important, is to go File, to Append, then to find your file. In our case, I'm going to append a female. I'm going here and here you see different folders. I need to find a collection because this is basically a group of objects. And here I see the legs, lights, camera and so on. So let's say I want to append assets also with the trees, then background, nope, the female and the legs. Right, so this is what I want to append. I'm going to append it. I need to wait a little bit because uh, the files are pretty big. Cool, and now you can see that I have I append a lot of new stuff here. First thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit G and then to move it somewhere else to show you how it is working. Cool, so I have female. What is great and it's super useful is that the female is working also with the rig. Also the post library is working and also the generator is working. So now if I want to have different posts, for example, sitting with a tablet, I can do it, right? Or if I want to change the clothes. Let's see, I want to put eyeglasses and I want to put some hair, change the skin color, right? And to put some shoes. Okay, I'm going to layers and now I can see that I have assets and also I have assets 001. This is the female asset. I can rename it. Right, also I have legs. All of these legs are basically uh, the legs from the female. Okay, if I want to move it, again, I need to go to select box. I'm going to move all of these things next to the male. Now I'm going to put it like this. I have two characters into one scene. What I wanted to show you is uh, to make it easier, click on the generator and move it somewhere and to organize it a little bit better so it won't be messy. And now this, I have two generators. This is for female, this is for male. Cool, if I click render, render image, I will have two characters into one scene. This is cool. You can even change the pose, for example, to jump, right upper body and the lower body. Right, so she is jumping. I'm going to move her, move her here, and I'm going to hide this assets this is little trick that uh, if you select it and you don't know where it is it basically this little thing is showing you that it's here under this collection under this group and it's here cool so I unselected it and let's say I want to put another man into the scene now the trick is if I click the same file what I use I will get the error but if I do this thing that I will copy it I'm going to copy the file right and now I have this copy uh, copied file and now I need to go to collection and I want to just put the mail I put the mail with the generator again be sure that you won't be lost with the generator. 
that's cool so this is the third Hop. okay so if you are in one file you see that once I click on the generator it's basically selecting also the rig right. so you can see that which generator is operating which uh, character so now let's change it perfect and now I'm going to use jump jump second I need to choose the pose pose mode then I'm going to to change the pose perfect and as I showed you in the previous video let's say I want to change the pose to make it custom <laughs> voila this is what I have I want to put it a little bit and I have some cool bend here if I click render image I will get three characters perfect so that's it in my case I want to move it a little bit to the right right I click zero I'm moving it one important thing is that you can you can move the character with the object mode but you will also move the generator or you can go to pose mode click on this box and now I'm just moving with the G okay so that's it I'm pretty happy but now I would like to put some icons inside so let's go to the icons file here is source file some update I'm going to collection and let's say I want to put a speech bubble up speech bubble I need to go to object mode and now I can change it right so this is how I can play with that this is how easy it is uh, let's say I want to append different material I'm going to material then I need to find the gold this is the gold material now I append it gold material I need to go uh, to the material properties and now I need to find the gold you have the search so let's use it now I appended the gold material inside the characters so this is pretty cool and let's say I want to put some animal inside let's say I want to have a duck and now I'm going to okay now I appended also the background which is studio and also I appended some lights so let's keep the lights here I'm going to make it bigger right and now I'm going to I'm going to make the duck bigger I'm going to change the viewport shading and now I have also duck inside but it is not working well because they are flying so I need to play with the background with the backdrop a little bit and now basically the duck also move the duck Hop. This is it and because Doug has also a different animation I can use the animation so I will have different different poses of the duck 
so that's it. And if you have also some assets with the DAG, you need to append also the assets. So this is what I prepared in a few minutes. Uh, this is how append is working and this is how you can squeeze the libraries, how you can make it more cool. And I think like this is super powerful what you can create with them. So let's take a look on the final render. Okay, so this is our final render. Uh, here also the tag is a little bit flying. So I mean, if I would uh, finalize it, I will just change the pose a little bit to touch the floor. And also here is some uh, reflection. So I would delete this and I will play a little bit with light. But this is the basics and go a little bit further if you want. That's it. I'm Sam from 3D and this is how easy it is to squeeze our libraries and to make them into one file. Thank you and let's continue.